The night attack on the Sancho Palace, these scrolls uh, relate almost 100 years later events that happened in the 12th century. It is probably one of the most powerful battle scenes you could imagine anywhere. And for me, talking about them is a really emotional experience because it really describes the horrors of war in a very vivid way. When you read a hand scroll from right to left, Typically, you would be holding an expanse, just what you can hold right in front of you between your two hands, and you as the viewer are controlling it. And the activity starts rushing from the right-hand side to the left-hand side of the scroll. But the chaos of it, you get because they're layering these figures one on top of another. You get the whirring of the wheels and people being caught up in those whirls, the spokes as it goes by. You see that motion in it. And then you have these countervailing forces where people are coming from the left. And so he structures this event, which is capturing the abduction of the retired emperor and his younger sister by these upstart military warriors. They lead him out of the palace, which you will eventually see at the other end of the scroll. But in the process, they set the palace on fire. The women of the palace, who wear these incredibly heavy robes, are trying to flee. They don't want to be raped. So they jump into the well, and they suffocate each other. It's a great contrast between the aristocrats, who are done with these very fine features, almost no expression on their faces, and then these upstart warriors, who are animals, and they're given animal-like faces. And you see them cutting other people's heads off, there is a very conscious attempt to know what you need to see and what is the focal point and how to, in these crowd scenes, where to create these tensions. And um, I, I don't think there's any other work of art like it. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ